Well, thanks for watching another episode of Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship. We're highlighting ministries all around the country that are serious about that, hoping that you, our viewers, would get a couple of revelations. God is still working, and there's a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. Today, we're at the NRB convention in Nashville, Tennessee. With me is Rod Payne. Rod, tell us a little bit about your involvement with the NRB and some of those critical issues that we're facing in broadcasting. Great. Thank you so much for having me on, Pastor Chuck. My role at the National Religious Broadcasters is I currently serve as the chairman of the NRB's Church Media Committee. The NRB literally serves hundreds and hundreds of churches around this nation. Some are active members and some are just benefiting from their involvement at the, con at the convention each year. But our role was to try to help churches to come alongside them, to educate, to inform, to inspire them to do better ministry for the kingdom of God. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know, religious freedoms, we know they're being attacked on all different levels. We talked a little bit last night at the NRB Network reception. Talk about the internet, some of the maybe uh, barriers or roadblocks that, are, that we're starting to see coming to fruition. Let me share with your viewers a very real crisis that is already coming on this nation and if the people of God don't rise up, if Christians don't begin to make their voices heard, we could be in a very different media environment in this country moments from now. Wow. Right now, your program is being viewed by folks over a variety of different networks, including The Walk, NRB TV, and many others. But if the FCC goes through with its plan, ultimately its goal was to make sure that they shut down most of the free infrastructure of over-the-air broadcast in this country in order to be able to sell the time, the spectrum, if you will, not the time, the spectrum, right. the airways, we call it, yeah. to large corporations like AT&T, Google, and others who provide internet searches and provide cellular phone service. Right, right. And in doing so, they're going to eliminate, if it goes through, much of the free over-the-air Christian broadcasting that believers enjoy from the west to the east coast, from the north all the way to the south. Yeah. If you want to know how this works, all we have to do is go north into Canada. Mm. All we have to do is go over into communist China. Yeah. And we can see a nation that literally has a stranglehold on the information that's passed through to its people. Wow. How would you like to have for a gatekeeper someone who does not share your Christian worldview? Yeah. And yet they could decide your worldview should not be broadcast because you're not inclusive enough. You're not yeah. modern enough in your belief system or you're too divisive when you dare to say this is what the Bible says about certain issues. Yeah, well we just heard from Frank, who's the president for the NRB, and he was talking about how they're even trying to define hate speech just by using biblical principles, whether it's same-sex marriages or abortion, right. you know, something that we're trying to say is wrong, and they're gonna try to make that hate speech and all of a sudden disqualify us from airing anything like that. And the problem becomes when they limit farther and farther or further and further the opportunities that we have from which to get our message out, eventually what the hope is on someone's part is to strangle the message. And in all sincerity, Christians today, believers today, need to go to Advanced Television Broadcasting Alliance. I'm gonna repeat that. Advanced Television Broadcasting Alliance. Good. You can friend us on Facebook, you can find us on the internet with a web page, and you can learn how to make your voice known to your congressman, your representative, to say, we do not want you to take away low power, free to air television in this country in order to provide a better service for someone's cell phone. Yeah, well that's amazing. Why don't you talk a little bit about from the perspective of evangelism, that sharing the gospel message, how those who are not coming to church, how else are they going to hear it through maybe a radio or a television in the comfort of their own home? Talk about how God is using that to evangelize. Absolutely. Since the days of the Billy Graham films and the Billy Graham Crusades broadcast over secular television, God has used the powerful media of media to reach into people's homes, into their lives, into their hearts, behind prison walls, inside a small confine of a hotel room, in a house where there's great discord and sadness and discontent. God's message can permeate through the airwaves, can permeate through the internet, can permeate through a shared DVD. And God uses that powerful medium because He is the God who separated water and allowed people to walk through on dry land. He is the God who caused manna to come down from heaven. And in the media, we have an access to people's homes, into their hearts, into their lives that heretofore we've never had the grant. And so we can come into your home and we can share with you the truth of God's love and His very real need to have a relationship with Him. Hallelujah. 
And so that is a power of media. Yeah. And discipleship, you know, Sunday morning worship and maybe Wednesday night Bible study. But here we have the opportunity for good teaching from great pastors all around the world that can share and help us go deeper and grow in the faith and feed all week long. Talk about discipleship through yes. broadcast. You know, I'm carrying a small device that's a cellular phone that cost me one penny from my carrier. But on this device, I can hear God's Word as rightly divided by Charles Stanley. I can hear God's Word as wonderfully shared by David Jeremiah. I can hear God's Word as shared by my pastor, Dr. Bob McCartney. And I can hear it right here on my phone. I can be driving in my car and I can listen to the discipleship of Dr. McCartney as he shares with me the truth of God's Word, sows it into my life, and I in turn use it for my development in the kingdom. And that again is the powerful message, the powerful medium of media. You know, and Christians might take this for granted. I mean, the, you listed some of my heroes. They wouldn't be my heroes had I not heard them on radio because I haven't visited their church. Right. And that would have been out of sight, out of mind, didn't know them, wouldn't meet them until I get to heaven. So until this right is taken away from us, everybody's going to say, what happened? How can Christians get involved and partner with the NRB and really, you yes. know, share their voice? The NRB has very wonderfully filed a brief on behalf of free over-the-air television with the FCC. But we need voices throughout this nation. Again, Advanced Television Broadcasting Alliance. I want to say that so the folks at home might grab a pencil or a piece yeah, of paper. Yeah, look at that camera Advanced a little bit better too. Yeah. Television Broadcast Alliance. Say it again. You, Advanced Television Broadcast Alliance. You can go on the web. If you don't have access to the internet, you can write to me at Box 442 in Wichita Falls, Texas. The zip code is 76307. Again, Box 442, Wichita Falls, Texas, 76307. And I'll send you by snail mail, we call it, or by lack of Saturday delivery mail, as we may be calling it someday. That's funny, but yeah. But Body of Christ, if we don't stand up yeah. as a national group of people and say, we want access to the airwaves so that the message, the good news of Jesus, may be shared freely without constraint, we may wake up, yeah. just as they have done in China, yeah. when they say, how is it we no longer have internet today? Yeah. The government shut it off. You know, these are constitutional rights, the First Amendment, right? The right to free speech, That's freedom right. of religion, freedom of press, right. and, you know, they're going to take it away, and it's too late at that point. So we need to stand for what our founding fathers meant when they implemented these, uh, these principles. The illustration from World War II is often cited that those who were being under the Nazi regime or the Nazi thumb, the illustration is when they came from the trades union, I was not a member of the trades union, so I did not speak up. When they came for educators, I did not speak up, for I was not an educator. When they came for, and by the time they came for me, there was no one left to speak up. Initially, they said, well, we're gonna change how your health care works. Now they're saying we're gonna change how the free flow of information works in this nation. What else? I'm not a conspiracy theorist. You can tell by looking at me, I'm not Mel Gibson, so I don't see a conspiracy under every rock as he, as his character did in the conspiracy theory movie. Yeah. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is actually taking place. And all one need to do is to go on the FCC's website and find out. Yeah. But we want to provide for people an opportunity to tell their congressman, to tell their FCC, which is supposed to be our country's FCC, Federal Communications Commission, right. you don't want this to happen. Well, that's awesome. Let me pray with you with our Thank viewers so watching and ask so God to move in the hearts of, of the body of Christ to uh, stand up, let your voice be heard, and uh, touch and agree and, and see what we can all do, bring our talents and gifts to bear. Amen. Father in heaven, in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who saved us, the only one who saves, and the power of this Holy Spirit that dwells in us, in the church, and the body of believers, I pray that you would show us our part right now as we pray. What can we do? Lord, to be unified in the name of Jesus and to be your hands, your feet, your voice. Lord, we lift up the NRB, the board members, uh, associates, volunteers, everybody it takes to, uh, to make the NRB what it is, all the moving parts. We pray for wisdom from above, all those in the broadcasting industry, producers, um, everyone, Lord, that has a burden to share your message, that you might show us from good to better to the best way to do it, to evangelize and make disciples until your glorious return. So Lord, we pray for your favor, and we pray that you would go before us and make a straight path and show us the way. We ask you to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank Rod, you, thanks Pastor again. I appreciate Thank it so you. much. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome, and Thank keep you. watching. we got more interviews to come.